Hey, welcome back to Guitar Discoveries. This is really kind of an episode of Recording Discoveries because today I am under the gun. I'm trying to get a final mix done of a track that for a music supervisor. This has been requested and I, have, I gotta pull it together. So often I get to this position where I think everything's sounding really good, but it's not quite there. I'm not going through an entire mastering process, at least not until I know the music supervisor is going to use this. So right now I'm at this point where I'm thinking, all right, I want it to sound very finished, broadcast quality. How am I gonna do that without taking all the time to master it? Well, here's the way I do it. I found a really cool plugin from Waves called the CLA Mixdown. So a lot of you probably have Waves plugins already, but whether or not you do, it's very easy. You go to waves.com and often you'll encounter a huge sale or something like that. It happens all the time with these guys. Uh, but their, their plugins are generally very high quality. There's always sort of a battle, universal audio, Waves, which is better. I use both. I love both. They serve different purposes. So what is this CLA Mixdown? What does it cost? How do I use it? Okay, well, first of all, let me show you where you can find it. Waves.com is where the Waves company, which is based in Israel, sells all of their plugins. So go there, and in this case, we're looking for CLA Mixdown. CLA, you can just start typing that in, and a bunch of the options will come up. This is the one I'm talking about. Finalize your mixes with the Ultimate Mix Bus plugin, right? Okay, this is basically a plugin that's been uh, collaborated on with Chris Lord Algae who really is an excellent mixer. He's done everything from hard rock to extreme pop. He's, he's done everything. And he really does have an ear for what makes something sound finished. So that's why I'm excited about this plugin. So if I were coming to this fresh today, I could buy it for $49. There's always sales going on with waves. So watch for the sales. Sometimes you can get these things for just ridiculously low prices. Nonetheless, a $50 investment for a really nice finishing tool, not bad. All right, let's go over to my digital audio workstation, which happens to be Logic Pro X. It doesn't matter what particular DAW you use. Uh, this CLA Mixdown is going to work with anything. So in my case, what am I working on here? This is uh, my duo with my wife. We're called Cosmic Spin. We like to take people on sonic journeys and often we'll take old and or new songs and we will turn them inside out and do our own versions. And that's specifically what this assignment I'm on wants. They, they wanted an alternate version of an old hit. So we've taken I'm a Believer we do it in a minor key for the verses. Uh, we, we dress it up with a much more rock and roll and groove than the original had. And so it's very different. So here's a little piece of what it sounds like. I thought love was only true in fairy tales Meant for someone else but not for me My love was out to get me that's the way I see. You get the idea. So let me turn on the mixer here so you can see. So here's here's all my tracks, right? We've got a drummer, we've got a beatbox, we've got a programmed beat, a uh, few different electric guitars, there's a bass, uh, which is an old P bass, a couple of acoustics just on choruses, uh, vocals, these are leads in the lighter green, and then some harmony vocals in the dark green. Uh, these are all just effects, buses, and things like that. So what we're really coming down to is this output one and two. This is where I want to focus in on the CLA Mixdown plugin. So when you first turn this on, everything's going to be at zero, but you're going to immediately hear a difference. It's very interesting that right away you kind of say, oh, wow, there's it, it's a little bit more in your face. Uh, the, there's a little more bass. There's a little more treble, but it's, it's kind of subtle the way it works. What I've done is pulled back the input level and raised the output level to tweak exactly those parameters, the volume of it, so that I can hear the difference. So let me just pull this to the side here. I'll just start playing this. A disappointment haunted all my dreams. Get to the chorus so it's a little more obvious. And that's with it off. I'm a believer. And that's with it on, obviously. I'm in love, I'm a believer, I 
Now you might be thinking, wow, I don't hear a whole lot of difference. Exactly, right? You, what you're doing is hearing just a few subtle shifts. Now, it, I don't know how it's coming through in your speakers. If you have headphones on, it's probably a little bit more obvious. But basically what, what happens with this is you get a little bit of bass boost, but it's, it's very deep, round bass. Treble, it's like sheen, very subtle. Even if you push these, you can, you can max them out. I'm leaving them at zero for the moment, right? Glue, oh, by the way, you can turn off each of these parameters if you want to. If you want to say, ah, I want all this stuff off, and you can turn them on one at a time if you want. Um, I like what Chris Lord Algae has done with this, though, because when you turn it on and you leave these all at zero, you're basically getting what he would do, right? I mean, within reason. Then, of course, you also have these one and two buttons, which give you two, as he calls them, different flavors of how the overall settings affect your mix. So let's hear what the one and two buttons do for a second. Here we go. Apollo's more or less a given thing. It seems the more I gave, the less I got. What's Again, the use subtle and difference, but it's actually pretty cool. What, what I've noticed in general with this one and two is that the one is a little more aggressive. Uh, you hear the bass and treble boost a little bit more. They're more obvious. Uh, the two is definitely just subtler all the way around, but it still gives you a little more punch. The drive, of course, is console overdrive, effectively. And what you notice, uh, if you watch this, okay, so I'll play this a little bit. If I put this the monitor to the inputs, look at how those are pegging. When I needed sunshine, I got rain. The outputs. I mean, they're slamming even not on the choruses. You go back to game reduction, and what you see is that there's uh, somewhere between reducing gain this just reminds me of working in the analog days it feels a lot like that uh, and and i think that's kind of fun and cool myself at any rate what you're seeing with that with those pegging that's really the console overdrive and my gut says that's probably what chris lord algae does he probably isn't afraid to push the channel strips pretty hard in certain cases particularly on the mix bus and that gives him a certain kind of harmonic distortion that comes from his SSL console. So at any rate, this is just kind of a secret sauce and just a cool way to add a little bit of finish, a little bit of frosting to your mix. Uh, what I'm loving about it is that when I do the comparison, and I'll just I'm a believer, I could yeah. leave her if I tried. exactly what's happening, isn't it? But there is more life in the track. When you turn it off, it's a little duller. Not quite as glued together. I'm a believer. Again, we're not boosting the volume. We're just bringing out the subtleties of that curve. So there you have it. I just wanted to share that with you, this CLA Mixdown plugin from Waves. I really like it. I just think it's a cool way to finish something off in a very easy way. You basically add it. You you probably wouldn't have to touch it. Of course, I'm adjusting the input output just to get something nice there. I've played with it, you know, push the bass up, pull the treble down, pull the treble up, push the bass up, all that. I usually have a pretty clean mix going in. I like my mix before I put it into the plugin. And and I think you should too. You know, before you do anything on the mix bus, make sure you like what you already have. Because this isn't the place to fix major problems. This is the place to put that extra little mark in your frosting, decorate it a little bit. <laughs> That's all you're trying to do. So there's your 
guitar slash recording discovery for the day, the CLA Mixdown plugin from Waves. Uh, hey, give it a try. It's not going to be a big investment, and I think you'll be happy with your sound. All right, uh, please subscribe to the channel. Please check out my other videos. It means a lot to me to have you with me and, and uh, finding out these tips and tricks. Go to guitardiscoveries.com where you can watch all the videos and not be distracted by a million other YouTube things. I can't wait to have you back. I'm going to keep going with recording discoveries side by side with guitar discoveries. You're going to get a mix of these things. I also uh, just registered the domain voice discoveries because I realize a lot of what I do is about vocals and I want to share some of those tips with you as well. So, hey, guitar, recording, voice, whatever it is about, this is the place you're going to discover it. Thanks for joining me. Talk to you soon.